Welcome back guys. There's something that I want to start doing more in this channel and that's actually sharing more of the behind the scenes type of content. Typically the things that I'm doing on a day to day basis or the projects that I'm working on. And to that note, I decided to make a video showcasing my habit tracker. If you take a look at my screen here, I have an app opened up called Notion. If you're not familiar with Notion, it's essentially a productivity app that was meant to be a note taking app, but it's so much more than that. It's very customizable to the point you can do pretty much whatever you want with it. It's up to you how you decide to use it. As a matter of fact, I actually pretty much run my whole life out of Notion in what's called a life operating system. If you take a look at the left hand side, you can see a bunch of categories and pages. That's what they're called here. I plan on making another video explaining where I got the concept from and how I made my version of the life operating system. But for now, I just want to focus on the habit tracker. So if you take a look at my screen here, Notion also oh, implements a lot of databases into its functionality and I pretty much work on all databases. That's where, to me, Notion really shines. And the thing about Notion when compared to another tool like, for example, Excel, is the fact that you can have different views of the databases where you can apply specific filters or sorts to just show a specific section of your information. As you can see here, I have, like I said, my daily tracking, and then I have different views, one for the current week that we're on, which is this week of November the 16th. I have one tracking for last week, another for 30, 30 day averages and so forth. So just the habits that I've got listed here, like I said, it's, it works like a database. So it, got, it has rows and columns and then you can start to see that I actually have entries for each day and then those are the rows and then the columns are the habits that I am currently tracking. I do want to mention that I am constantly adding and removing habits based on the things that I want to achieve or have achieved. For example, whoops, let's mark this one right off because I'm making this video right now. For example, at one point I was doing, I was tracking how many times I was meditating during the day, but that's a habit that I decided was not an important part to my day to day or not something that I wanted to incorporate. So I decided to remove it. Similarly, I recently made a video talking about how I quit alcohol. And this is something that I was tracking the days that I did not drink any booze. And since this is something now that I've essentially assimilated that I don't drink alcohol anymore, this habit, I would probably, I will probably remove it in my next review cycle, which is that's something I'm going to cover when I do the life operating system video. So again, we have the habits here. Like I said, I just go through them each day just to make sure I'm doing what is getting me closer to my goals. I'm going to show you a quick example. Let's say I wanted to make a new entry. You can make templates as well. Uh, this is one that I defined. For example, I added a new template. Let's suppose this was going to be a new day in the morning. I have an automation that does this for me every day, but for the sake of example, I'll show it to you. The template opens up. Now you see that we have the habits or the categories as they're called listed vertically. And it's also just a different way of viewing the data that's on the database. So typically what I'll do every day is I'll wake up and then this template is something that I made that I also will be talking about in future video. And what I'll do is I'll go through like a morning routine, a very short morning routine. I'm not into like super long uh, morning routines, but essentially things that I want to make a point to incorporate in my daily life. For example, being grateful is something that forcing myself to think about things to give thanks for is something that I found positive overall in my life. So that's why it's included here. So typically what I'll do in the morning, I'll just start, whoops, I'll just start typing something like for, for a new day, let's see my health, my family, my girlfriend, etc. And you know, just something, the idea is not to spend too much time on it. It's just whatever comes to mind, just something to 
for a few minutes, take time to appreciate the things that you do have in your life. Then I carry on. Uh, by the way, this whole section is what I call the morning stand-up, the uh, morning, yes, morning stand-up, which is where I go through all these categories. Then I pick a few items that are going to be like my top priority items for the day, things that I want to get done that if I get done, it, I classify the day as a, as a great day. Because back in the day, I used to do as much as possible on any given day. But I've realized that instead, if I just focus on the must-dos or things that I will get done on a particular day, that'll typically be finishing up an important project, writing an important report or document that I have to do for my team, recording a video. I make sure to write these here so I make it a priority to get these done. And then once those are done, I can then focus on any other tasks that may be on my list that I have time for. For example, I could put record one YouTube video and then write SOP for, for YouTube video editing, and just an example. And also typically, Moving on, another thing that I include as part of my morning stand-up is a not-to-do list. Typically, these are things that I make a point to not do, pretty self-explanatory, but it's based off the principle that success is not actually taking the most amount of correct decisions. It's actually avoiding the bad decisions. And that's the idea behind the not-to-do list. Like, for example, if you know you waste too much time watching shorts, then you would say, okay, not to do this, waste time. And then you say washing shorts, things like that. Or if let's say you're trying to stop drinking alcohol, then not to do this, drink alcohol. For example, little things, but it's just to keep them top of mind that you're trying to avoid them, essentially. From then, I go into what is my mindset routine. I do a daily mindset routine that is in these two sections here. So these are a bit deep, so I'll go. First one is the mindset. There is a few categories that I go into in my mindset routine. I keep a vision board where, you know, I like to see you know, goals that I have or things that I aspire to in my ideal self when I achieve my best version. So I like to keep them visually in what I call a vision board. I used to do this physically, but you know, I found it's just good to keep it in notion. Might as well, I like having everything in one place. So I just keep images, for example, you can see a few like a Ferrari, you know, typical goals just these are personal goals that I actually have intent, intent on, on achieving. And I typically just glance at it every morning, just spend a few seconds, but it just helps to, again, just keep me focused on what it is that I'm working for and what is the vision that I have for my future self. I have other things as well here. So this video is a mindset training video that I listen to every single day. It's about 10 minutes long, so I'll listen to this either while I'm going through my stand-up, I'll put it on and then just listen to it, or whenever I'm doing something that doesn't require me to be extremely engaged, I'll typically listen to this video. And then I have other things, you know, quotes, which is a collection of interesting phrases that I've heard from different people that I, that I learned from and study. Lots of people here. This is all evolving. Of course, I'm constantly adding information to to this. And then I have these two categories, which I'm not gonna go into them, but to explain what each of these are. So I took this idea from Brandon Carter and he talks about having a list of hate and a list of great. So the list of hate is essentially where you keep a collection of everyone who at one point doubted you negative comments you might have received, people who did you some sort of, you know, harm or affected you in some negative way. So it's essentially a collection that you keep. And I, I keep it because I believe that anger is a very strong emotion and 
not only is it a strong emotion, but it also leads to action. Now, I'm not saying this is the best way to do it, but I found that it works for me on certain days where I need an extra boost. It's nice to look at some of that material and just remember to, to push forward because there's people who are counting on you to fail. And I don't know, that's one of the motivational mechanisms that work for me. Maybe it'll work for you. I'm not saying it's the best way or it's the healthiest way. I'm just saying something that does work for me. It's just a secret weapon to whenever I need an extra boost. And now the list of great is a list of all the traits and attributes that your best self has. And this is also something that I write out and I regularly review to make sure I am progressing towards that version. Again, this is something that's very personal. I'm not going to go into that, but the concept is, you know, that's the idea behind it to always be pushing yourself to be closer, to get closer to your ideal self and to remind yourself of what your ideal self is doing or would be doing. So going back to the stand-up routine, we carry on. The visualization portion is very is separate from the mindset pages I was just showing you. The visualization part is actually a practice that I took from a book called Psycho Cybernetics. It is an excellent book, in my opinion. It's one of my favorite all-time books. It talks a lot about the psychology behind the self-image and how you can bring that into consciousness and how you can actually start molding it to fit a self-image that you want or the, of the person that you want to be it explains a lot of you know to people who make the the typical comment oh i'm, I'm not good at math like how they label themselves with mm, limiting beliefs or expressions that don't necessarily serve them or get them closer to their goals and the book talks about how to use that but to actually create the self-image of the person you want to be it's a very interesting book i recommend everyone read it. It's, I, I personally love that book. So moving on, once I hit this, this point, the visualization point, I'll typically stop there. Then as I go through the day, I'll be checking off each of the properties, each of the habits as I do them. For example, that I would check off the morning standup. Then I have a habit to see if I'm sleeping over seven hours, if I slept over seven hours. I track that with my aura ring and I also set up an automation to automatically sync my the time I slept to this table. So it'll automatically check the box if my metric says that I slept over seven hours. Working out, I make sure to work out every day. I, per, I It's one of my favorite things to do. I track all the workouts that I do, all the exercises, everything. I'll go into that in another video, but I make sure to also track that I'm working out. It's part of my identity. And then what do we have here? Create content. As you can see, this is something that there's definitely a lot of room for improvement. If we take a look at, let's say last week, which this is what I was saying, what I like about the views in Notion, we can go back seven days in time uh, it's also showing the entry I just made. Let's disregard that. But the thing is, I have it set so it can give me, I have like an overview where it can give me a summary of how often I'm sticking to a certain habit. So there's a saying that I think Brandon Carter coined it, where essentially if you're not tracking, you're slacking. And it's been shown that simply tracking something improves performance. And as you can see, like I said, create content definitely has room for improvement and it's something that uh, I'm, I'm working on. But the good thing is that I see it. I know I'm slacking. There's no excuses. I have no reason to give an excuse or say as to why I'm not making content. No wonder I still haven't reached a thousand subscribers. I'm not recording content consistently. Compare that to how often I'm working out or how often I'm studying, not drinking, or sticking to my practices. And you can see, you can tell that if you look at this, this guy's probably in good shape because I work, he has all the workout boxes checked out. So you can kind of see or get an idea of how the person is based on, on this information, which is why I personally love to track it because it lets me know where I need to step my game up. 
And going back to the rest of the categories, like I said, create content. Then we have what I call Iron Mind, which is my mindset practice that I do daily. And then every day I make sure to set some time to either study or, or read 20 pages. By studying, I mean learning something could be, let's say I want, I recently started getting involved a lot in web scraping and I was learning a lot about the frameworks that are used for scraping, you know, images and information from websites. So that's one thing that I could possibly count as studying. Or if I just, I'm always trying to be reading a book, so I'll pick whatever current book I'm reading and I'll read 20 pages and that'll count as my reading. If I finish the day without drinking, like I said, I'll check this off. That's something that it's pretty much done by now. I'll probably replace this with a new habit that I want to work on. Then plan the next day. I found that it helps a lot if I set a few minutes to plan what I'm gonna be doing the next day. And essentially this is what I will use to fill the next day's important tasks that I'm going to complete. So I always make an effort to, to at least think about what high priority task I'm gonna be doing the next day. And then I have a section for improvements, which I use to just write out things that I felt I could have done better throughout the day, whether it's maybe the way I reacted to a certain situation with my team or with my girlfriend, or let's say, I wasted a lot of time during the day that I could have used for something productive or a little whatever I feel that I can improve on, I'll make a note of it here because I also have trackers and review cycles for days, weeks, months, quarters, like all the time frames. And when we go into those, you'll see that I have uh, what is called a roll up or essentially like a summary of all of my improvement lists and that really helps me to get an overview of the things that I can improve on so that I can implement those changes as necessary. So that's about it going back to the the template or the entry by the end of the day when I'm winding down or just you know pretty much done with the most important work that I had for that day. I'll go into this section, today's wins, which is, are just notable achievements that I was able to complete during the day, whether let's say I recorded a YouTube video, that would be one. Then the other could be went out with girlfriend, just things that highlight what I got done during the day, if, especially if it's things that were top priority. For, for me in that particular day. And, oh, I didn't talk about this. So these views uh, are a summary, a linked view of the big table of the habit tracker. Uh, here it show, it's showing an extra entry because of the sample one I just created, shows the same day. But essentially it just gives me like a portion. You can see here, it's just the improvement section. So. I can either fill this out here or I can fill it out over here on, on the end. It doesn't really matter, but it's just make it easier for me to fill it out. Because essentially I want to build systems or the idea behind the whole, the habits and the life operating system is to build systems that hold yourself accountable and get you closer to the type of life that you want to be living. So the idea is to create your own life and you have to make sure that you stay on the path to achieving that life. So that's the whole intent behind it. But yes, this is, you know, just overview of my daily habit tracking, I guess. And also this is something that I always aim to complete all of them, but I, sometimes life does get in the way and I don't necessarily fill out or check out a certain box. But the accountability or the self accountability is extremely helpful and it does increase the probability that it will get done. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Like I said, I'm going to make another video showing or diving deeper into these sections on the left hand side right here is going to be probably break it down into different sections because might get a bit long, but let me know 
if it is something that interests you, I'm just trying something new, trying to share more of the technical side of things of what I do instead of just me talking without actually showing anything. But yeah, that's about it for me on this one. That's my habit tracker. I'll be sure to, I'll be sure to share any updates that I make to the system as I go along. But in the meantime, if you found it useful, do let me know. If you actually enjoyed this type of video, I appreciate it if you watched this far. It's 21 minutes by now. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.